Hi everyone and thanks for spending a bit of time with us learning a little bit more about Novell Vibe On-Prem, which uh, for all intents and purposes we'll call Novell Vibe here for short. Um, I've been spending a lot of time recently working with customers that are deploying um, Novell Vibe and one of the things that <clears throat> comes up very often is how can we use this to manage our projects? Um, there's several ways to do this. Obviously, you know, there are smaller projects that you can deal with and there are, you know, quite larger projects. Um, so this video will deal mostly with uh, how to manage a small project and how to manage the tasks. So what I've done here is I've set up a workspace, a project management workspace, where we can see you know, who the team members are in this workspace. We can see a rundown of the tasks here, which is where you know, we'll be spending most of the time on this video, um, learning how to manage the tasks. And also some project statistics, the information box, so for example, who's the manager here, when do we expect this project to be done, um, all the links to the folders here that we have in our project workspace, which are also available on the left-hand side here. And a bit of a status on how the tasks are going. At this point, we've set up some tasks, but none of them have been started, so everything is 100% um, needs action. So for smaller projects, what I usually suggest is to use just the task folder that's automatically created when you um, create the workspace. Now, we're looking at Vibe 3.1 at this uh, point, which is uh, just recently released. And one of the things that they've improved a lot is the tasks management. So there's a new look to the task folder. Um, there's some new stuff, including subtasks, which for smaller projects is probably the best way to do it. So what we're looking at here is a Zenworks configuration management deployment. So, you know, we're gonna, this is an organization that's going to deploy Zenworks configuration management on a small scale. So there's several things that need to be taken care of. Some acquisitions, we need to acquire the hardware, software operating systems. We need to assemble all of that and install the services. We need to plan the deployment. And then finally, we're gonna deploy the agent to all the devices. So I've already set up some of the tasks here. But one of the things that's really cool is, for example, in acquisitions, I can have subtasks, right? And then you can see I've assigned them to, to myself here. I'll be taking care of those tasks. So we gotta get the quotes for the server hardware. We gotta get the approval for the server, order the server. We've got all our due dates here. Um, and one of the things that's cool here is I can, you know, I can change right in here the priority. So I say, you know, before we do anything, we've got to get that ser those server quotes. So this is critical. And I've actually started this. So I'm going to mark this in process. And, you know, I'm going to say it's about 20% done at this point. All right. And one of the things I tell customers to do is if you want to update, if you want to give your manager or keep up to date on what the tasks, you know, where it's at and what, what you're up to, is instead of modifying the task and adding the notes right in the task, I always ask people to leave a comment. All right. So, have requested, oh, let's write it properly, quotes from vendors. All right. And then the advantage of doing it that way by using comments is you have, you know, a date and timestamp and who added the update. So it's very easy for managers and other team members to follow what's being done on those tasks. And once you're done, you can close it. All right. And you can also reorder tasks. So for example, if you know that you're going to order your SLEB subscription first, you can just click on that and move it up. Okay. And then you can collapse this task if that's not what you're working on. So assembly and installation, we have to assemble the server hardware and so on. And that's how we create our task list. So for, for small projects or you know, on a small scale like this, using just the initial task folder that's created with the workspace and creating subtasks within that, for all intents and purposes, fits the bill, right? It's easy to do uh, and you can follow it easily, everything in one place. Now, you know, we're gonna create a new one here, which, you know, we're gonna call training. And we're gonna start that once the deployment is done. So my deployment, let's say, was done uh, in August. Let's say we'll start the training on the 12th and we wanna be all done by, let's say, two weeks from that time. Um, maybe not be critical and let's say Gary's going to take care of this and myself um, so we're just gonna say okay now there are two ways under training that we can create subtasks the easiest one is to just go right here and say new subtask all right and say plan training for admins all right and we can decide not to put any dates here um, this is high because I want Gary to plan the training for all the admins who will be using this. Okay, so as you can see now, 
This plan training for admins has been added under as a subtask of training. Okay. Now another way you can do it is simply new task entry, plan training for users. Yeah, you know, because in IT we never put things on users' desktops without training, right? So I'll take care of that, the training for the users, and we'll say okay. Now because we added it as a task entry here, it you know it's it's added as a you know first level task, but we wanted to put that under the training. So what I'll simply do is select this and simply move it into the subtask, and it will move as an equivalent subtask under the one above it. So now my plan training for users is now part of my training task. Okay. For example, deploying agent to all devices. I might decide that that's part of my deployment plan and I want to, might want to move this here. Now, you can also move entire first level tasks. So I might decide that I'm going to start my training before I even do the deployment. So I can move all of this and the entire hierarchy moves up with it. So this is a great way to work on your, on your tasks and manage your smaller projects. Um, we can put in process here and I've done a lot of the planning. So, you know, we can do this, the users at one point, um, let's say in process and we're going to put it at 70% because we've done a lot of it. Now, the other thing you might have noticed here is graphs. So you can collapse this and then you can see a quick status update of all your tasks. All right, so I've got 31%, six entries that are critical, 12 of them are high. All right, so you can see a breakdown of your priorities over here. And then the status, right? So needs action, so 18 entries, 94% of them have not even, we haven't even started working on them yet. Obviously, we just set up this project. And as we've noted, we've uh, put some of them in process here. You know, obviously, we added some more, so we're going to refresh this. And now we have three entries that are in process. So this represents a little bar graph of how we're doing with our tasks. And obviously, when you go back to the top of the workspace, this will be reflected as well in your summary of your tasks here. So that's one way to keep up to, to manage your smaller projects with Novell Vibe. Um, it's a great way. You can assign them to whoever is working on the team, uh, which they will then see in their own personal workspace, the tasks that have been assigned to them. You can uh, also obviously use your calendar and, and, and put in some meetings and stuff like that. Milestones we'll look at in another video where we talk about managing larger projects which may have multiple task folders. But for all intents and purposes, just using the single task folder and using tasks and subtasks is just a perfect way of managing your smaller projects and keeping tabs on everything. So I hope you, this has uh, clarified a bit um, how to use Novell Vibe for this uh, small project management and I hope we'll, you'll join us for some other videos that we'll be preparing and putting up on our website um, specifically on how to manage larger projects. Alright, thanks for listening in.